Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a hole uh, and this is one of the most common questions that I get uh, using our gold star tool press machine uh, we get many calls that people want to know if they could make a hole using our press machine and how big is the hole and what size and so forth and we also have a lot of questions regarding the owls that we sell we have uh, five different owls on our website so i'm going to go through the difference between the owls and the uh, making a hole with our press machine and what size should the hole be for the studs that's the most question we get so as you know uh, one of the options that you have when you buy our uh, press machine is to add a die uh, and for you guys want, at home you want to see this is what it is it's a this is actually the lower die that makes a hole on your fabric and um, this is the upper die which has the holes in it and that's the hole actually there is a piece of leather from before that i'm going to pull that out here you go but um here we have a almost quarter inch of hole so this is the upper die and what you see on the bottom is the lower die obviously and we're going to see the difference between the uh uh poking a hole using a one of our owls or a die so i'll go ahead and uh, make a hole using our press machine uh, a lot of you might have a a bit of problem making a hole uh, it's very simple come down and make the hole go back up and if you see something like this happens that is not giving you a round cut i may show the back see it's still there is like three quarter cut and one quarter not cut sometimes this happens what i want you to do i want you to go ahead and lose the upper die maybe one or two turn and then go ahead and try it again and then you'll hear that sound and this is a perfect cut one more time perfect cut so this is cutting a hole this is a quarter of quarter of inch hole and this is mostly used for using grommets now when you're doing grommets a lot of people call and ask what size of a hole we need so if your grommet is quarter inch obviously your hole should be quarter also or half an inch or three eight the diameter of the hole is the same size of your grommet uh, but when it comes to the rivets and snaps and uh, other closures your size should be the size of the post or the start right here and that is a two millimeter. These are I'm using for ring snap. They're mostly the same. So if you wanna cut a hole for spring snap or ring snap or rivets, it's two millimeter is the best size to cut uh, or if it's a little bit thicker three millimeter but not less than two millimeter and not more than three millimeter and that's only for the stud rivets snaps and uh, spring snap or ring snap now as you see here we did a perfect cut a round cut so a lot of people call in and they want to know if they could use their owls here we have 
five different uh, five type of owls here. And what the owl would do is just not to make a hole, it will poke a hole. It doesn't give you a perfect cut, round cut. It just, it just gives you that hole, but then you have to force your snap in there or your post in there. You have to find that hole again. But if you had a hole cut, you see, perfect. It will fit in there. So this is totally different. The size that what you use would be the machine which is the die and what you use with your owls. Owls are really good, you could come handy. A lot of people use them to uh, make a, a mark on your fabric, on your leather, on your vinyl. It could be the for a stitching. But to make a hole to do the snap, you really want something to give you a cutout. You want the whole thing to, to you know, come out so you have, it's easier to put them on. Now, again, there are, here I have five different uh, uh, different type of owls. Uh, this is the most common owl that we use and we sell, uh, four and a half inch. It's an owl and the, uh, the thickness is about uh, one eighth. This is one of the sizes. We have two other types that one is uh, five inch and the thickness of the rod is less than one eighth and it's plastic handle. This is for finer holes. And we have one that is, I would say six and a half and it's longer, it's wooden. Again, it's maybe one sixteenth, but there are owls that you could use to sew for leather. These are two that we have right here. It's about seven inch. Uh, both have an eye at the end of the owl. This one is not sharp, it's dull, wood handle. So what you, what you do is you make a hole and you just use this like the way you sew with your hand needle. Uh, it's very common in the leather workshop that they use this type of owls. So at the end has a uh, hole, and uh, but it's dull. But this one, oh, this is very sharp and has a smaller eye. Maybe this one has a quarter of inch eye and this one has only one eighth. Wood handle, same size. The handles are different shape, but uh, very comfortable. Also, this one is very comfortable. Now, if you see the shaft is longer, or the handle is longer because you hold them like this, because you do the sewing, the same thing with this one. But something like this, you hold them like this. So. It's like for poking and going through hard materials. So uh, a lot of people make holes with this initially and then go in, this, go in with this for sewing. So awls, sewing awls, regular awls right here, sewing awls right here, and this is the, the die that actually cuts the hole. Again, you don't need to make a hole if you want to put a snaps or rivet or uh, uh, studs on, but a lot of people like to mark their product before they put anything on. They want to make sure they're doing it right. So it's very common also to use the cutting die. Again, they come, our machine has a die from one millimeter all the way up to size 12, which is one and a half inch. Um, it doesn't always cut very thick material. You gotta be careful. Um, this is very uh, common uh, size, the thickness I mean. But usually if you wanna do three to four layers, you gotta find a different way of making holes. 
but in general for bag making, for garment, for leather, for hide, this is a perfect machine, perfect die, and a perfect owl to use. Uh, please guys, don't forget to like our video channel, YouTube channel, like our video, thumbs up, write a comment, we're here for you. Anytime you need any question, please let us know, and we'll be more than happy to make your video. Thank you. This is our website, goldstartool.com.